Hi, everyone. I am attorney Megan Pastrana of Immigration for Couples, and I'm here for our weekly live immigration attorney chat. There are a lot of individuals who are being scheduled for their interviews, for their consular interviews at U.S. embassies and consulates in other countries. We've been seeing an uptick in interviews being scheduled. And so a lot of individuals are asking about the police clearance uh, certificate requirements. And there are also people in our Facebook group who are just being proactive and wanting to understand more about the police clearance certificate uh, requirements and that part of the process, getting and collecting civil documents, especially if you've lived in multiple countries, can be uh, a bit overwhelming. And so I wanted to provide some clarity about the police clearance certificates. So the first thing I wanted to talk with you about uh, with regards to police, uh, police clearance certificates is their validity period. So the National Visa Center, this comes straight from the National Visa Center website, the police clearance certificates are valid basically for two years. And so there are a lot of countries that they will issue police clearance certificates. The United Arab Emirates is, is one that comes to mind where they will issue a police clearance certificate and it's only valid for three months. There are other countries that'll say it's only valid for a month or six months. And so that can become confusing because that is that, is that particular country's a police clearance requirements or validity period rather. But for all intensive purposes, the United States and for your immigration process, the National Visa Center does say that police, police clearance certificates are valid for two years. Now, it is important to pay attention to those interview requirements because they can change and they can sometimes vary by consulate. Because if you happen to be living in a certain country, they might have a reduced period of time that that police clearance is valid. But in general, the National Visa Center says they're valid for two years and they are. And then the last thing that I wanted to clarify on police clearance certificates is I've noticed that there are a lot of individuals who are applying for adjustment of status, who that is a process where you complete the process here in the United States to receive your green card. You complete the entire process here. And I've had some individuals in, on the YouTube channel and on our Facebook group asking about police clearance certificates for adjustment of status. And I think they might be getting confused with consular processing, which is the process that happens at a U.S. embassy or consulate abroad. Um, but in general, for the adjustment of status process, you aren't having to obtain police clearance certificates from other countries. However, please understand if you have had criminal history in another country, then you, you would have to get criminal records, certified criminal records or a police clearance in that instance. But in general, for the adjustment of status, those police clearance certificates aren't required in the same way that they are for the consular process or for fiancé visa cases. So I hope that that helps give you some clarity on police clearance certificates. Again, I know we had a lot of questions in, in the Facebook group, and that kind of covered that the main, the main uh, questions that everyone had with police clearance certificates. Um, and then... Oh, actually, no, <laughs> there was one more. I did see that I had one more question here in the Facebook group about police clearance certificates. And that was, what if I can't obtain the police clearance letter? Um, yeah, the individual was asking, I've been trying to obtain it from this particular country. And it only says that I can obtain it in person. But I, I live very far away. And there isn't a way for me to actually go in person. Um, so again, I'll use the United Arab Emirates as an example. They their police clearance certificates can only be obtained in person. And there's quite a few countries like that where you have to be in person to obtain the police uh, the police clearance. So depending on the, the circumstances and just depending on the country where you need to obtain the police clearance, a lot of times U.S. embassies and consulates will say um, that they will allow that requirement to be waived if it's if it's too if it's too difficult, you know, if there is in, in some countries, you know, if there is civil strife or you're unavail you're unable to go there safely, or um, if if it's just if it's just impossible for you to make it, sometimes you can ask for for a waiver. There are some countries where the embassy or the National Visa Center will actually say, you know, if this we we encourage rather, it'll say, you know, we encourage consular officers to waive this police clearance requirement. Um, because of certain extenuating circumstances. 
That doesn't mean that you can get, get every single clearance letter waived. A lot of police clearance letters can actually be obtained online. Uh, the United Kingdom, um, there's quite a few countries that allow for you to be able to actually get that police clearance letter online. And then there's also ways that you could, if you have a family member there, or if you can hire an attorney there and that country to be able to obtain it for you, it's always better to get the police clearance letter. But if you're really in a predicament where you just, there's just absolutely no way, again, because like I said, extenuating circumstances, civil strife, something happening in that country, or maybe for particular personal reasons you can't, you can try to ask for a waiver of that requirement. But it's always better to try to get the letters to prevent any kind of unnecessary delay. And so I'm looking here at our the Facebook group and all those questions. Yes, so that definitely did cover all of the questions I had for police clearance requirements. If you have additional questions, please let me know and I'm happy to make um, more videos on this topic.